Um, is there something that you want to focus on this summer? Yeah, I mean, I guess the last few off seasons uh, were in Chicago and um, the first two were summer league type situations. And then um, last summer, um, you know, I practiced with their summer league team and stuck around. Um, and I plan on doing that this summer too um, with here, just being a, a guy that got traded late in the season, kind of still didn't feel quite settled in um, with everything, just a living situation. and. Um, just getting to know everyone. Um, you know, I didn't know anyone's name for like the first two weeks, so, uh, except for my teammates. Um, but just getting settled in and um, being able to work with the coaching staff here and the strength staff, and uh, we've got a great facility here, and uh, it's a great city too. So I plan on, you know, bouncing around a little bit, having some fun, but also uh, coming here ready to work. Um, you know, I try and try and add something, you know, each summer because I don't I don't want to stay the same player. Um, you know, I feel like I can still get a lot better. Um, you know, I think I can get stronger. Um, definitely better, you know, laterally um, in the weight room on the court. Um, and just really improve my body and um, being able to do some more stuff, I think, um, off the dribble um, and not just being a spot up shooter. Um, also, being able to work on my post game because um, I feel like I can post up certain in certain situations out there. Um, so, really work on a lot of different areas um, in, in, in trying to improve in a lot of different areas. I know that sounds pretty generic, but um, that's just something I'll stick to. Western Conference, maybe it kind of fits your style. Mm -hmm. Given a little bit more time, how do you think your game can grow next year? I think it can grow a lot. You know, I think the the Western Conference, there's a lot of, you know, the, the pace is a little different than the East. You know, teams get up and down a little more, and I feel like that really suits my game, being a shooter um, who can run the floor um, and playing with a guy like Russ who likes to push it as well. Um, I think it can only improve uh, my game. and. Um, it was a small sample size out there, just not being able to play as many games. Um, you know, obviously getting traded so late. So now that I get my got my feet wet a little in the Western Conference, I feel like I can really have a good year next year and really help this team. You defended Anderson quite a bit in the series when you were out there. Moving forward, do you envision maybe getting chances to defend uh, stretch fours um, and maybe being able to slide slide down one one spot? I think so. You know, I think. Uh, I think I can play, you know, a little three and four. Um, you know, I think I showed in that series that I can, um, you know, play against fours. And uh, you know, the the way the league is trending, um, it's getting smaller uh, with a lot of small ball and guys that can really um, spread the floor, um, regardless of the position. So I feel like I'm just a basketball player. Uh, I don't really feel like there's a specific position. Um, you know, I, whenever I'm out there, I'm going to be moving without the ball. I'm going to be doing as much as I can to spread the floor and, you know, make it easier on my teammates. John, you mentioned playing with a guy like Russ. Um, we sort of see what that looks like from afar, but for you, you were on another team. What were your perceptions of him before you got here? And then now that you've played with him, what would you say about, you know, how that perception may be different? Yeah. I thought he was crazy, honestly, uh, playing against him the first few times. Uh, still think he is crazy uh, but you know I think my first memory with him was we were in Chicago and I think it was right after he had he had to wear the face mask for some reason and we thought there was no way he was playing because it's like a back-to-back -back for you guys and we thought yeah oh, he'll probably rest or something and then he just came out and had a triple double like it was nothing so ever since then I really respected him just the way he plays how hard he plays and um, you know, how he brings his teammates um, to a different level out there. And he's really been an, um, very enjoyable to play with and obviously just a great guy in the locker room too. So, you know, I've learned that he's just a really good dude off the floor, real humble, and uh, it makes it our jobs a lot easier when, you know, our best player um, shows that towards his teammates. And, you know, we all appreciate that. There's a kind of in the playoffs, but throughout the season too, sort of search for a continued style of play, particularly in the second unit. Who knows what your role will be exactly next year, but in terms of the ball movement, you know, drive and dish style, what 
what do you think you all can do at a higher level next year, maybe with the summer and training camp to really work on it? Yeah, I think uh, I think you hit it spot on. You know, I think we need to get a little more movement out there, um, and part of that is just because we added some new pieces um, so late in the season and. It's hard to put in new stuff for everyone to kind of get used to that late. And I think we have the personnel where we can do a lot more movement. We have a lot of shooters out there who can spread the floor. And we just need to do some more stuff to make make uh, the defense work a little more. Because um, you know, I, I know I'm just more I'm more than a spot up shooter. I know I can move without the ball, and I think that just puts more pressure on them, um, and it can open up things for everyone out there. So. I'm excited, you know, to, after talking with Coach Donovan, he's excited for the summer just to kind of be around us more and be able to apply some, some new stuff out there and really get together, watch film, and um, just improve. And uh, it's, it's going to be a, an exciting summer. Anybody else? All right. Thanks, Thanks.